Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And I'm Jake. Guys, we got the, the whole Pokemon drawn crew here today. We were all enjoying some Pokemon Go in the office. And Not we, me. We, right. <laughs> all of us, except for Julia, were enjoying Pokemon Go in the office when we realized we had to do a Drawfee. I mean, whether you're Mystic or Valor or even Instinct, for now, we're all Team Drawfee. <laughs> all you watching at home, just try and conquer gyms in the name of your favorite, very sensitive art boys. I just, <laughs> Julia, I just love your, your dedication. I don't know what the reason, but in my head, I like to think that you specifically did not download Pokemon Go because you knew that you would need to remain pure <laughs> and that uneducated. Is, that is half the reason. <laughs> the other half is just it seems like an awful experience. Yes, it is abusive. It is an abusive relationship that we have all willingly entered into. Since I've started playing, it's been a nonstop nightmare of high fives from really cool strangers. Niantic actually has been sending emails from my account, and it's great. I thought it would be annoying, but uh, they're doing a great job. They're essentially Niantic has become my full time kind of email secretary. <laughs> which I'm, I'm I'm pretty much I'm super into that. Uh, so I recommend switching back to the Gmail versus the Pokemon Trainer Club account. Nathan, what are we doing today? Yeah, uh, the way this is going to work is I have dropped a lure module Ooh. on the PokeStop that is the IAC building, as well as an incense, and I've Holy handed my phone shit. to Jake. And as the Pokemon pop up, Jake is going to use his judgment to give us the, the best mons that he sees that he wants us to try and draw from memory. Uh, Nathan, I just want to say right now that uh, this is the moistest phone I've ever held in my life. <laughs> Thank you. It is, it is incredible. I'm like rubbing it on my shirt just to like try and it's just more liquid is just seeping yeah, through it. Yeah, I got the, the OtterBox sponge case. <laughs> It absorbs damage and moisture. That that thing is never going to get cracked. It mm. is struggling to stay in my hand. It's so slippery. <laughs> uh, Again, thank you. Well, uh, there's uh, obviously it's a lot of low level Pokemon right off the bat. It's uh, I'll, hopefully we'll we'll get some better ones as as we keep looking. But right now, Nathan, to start, I'm going to give you. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite bug types, Weedle. Weedle. Ooh. Weedle. Weedle. That sounds Weedle. fun. Weedle. With a name like that, it can't possibly have a spike on its head. <laughs> Weedle. There's definitely no secondary interpretations of that. <laughs> Not a one. Oh, man. Tokemon, am I right? Gotta smoke them all. Ha -ha. I got the t-shirt in Kingston with my family on a cruise. Got that boardwalk shirt. <laughs> so I, I got, I caught a Weedle and I was, cause I try to give my, my Pokemon like little clever names that either sound somewhat similar to their original name or like are a clever take on it. And Weedle, I just gave up and I was like, fine, you're Weedlord420. That's, <laughs> that's your name. Just live with it. You don't deserve more than that. Now I'm drawing Weedlord420. Okay. <laughs> Is that... Does he dispense joints from his head? Is that what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's well. He's got he's got one on his spike. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Who dares disturb the weed lord? <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! The weed lord demands that you blaze it. That was my favorite World of Warcraft expansion. <laughs> weed lords of Draenor. <laughs> <laughs> For the hush. <laughs> Oh man. No, this is great because you could pull like a, a straight up Cruella de Vil where you're holding your Weedle and you're just puffing off of your Weedle. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that. This is like some inverse Alice in Wonderland caterpillar shit. This would be like if the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland was smoking weed off of another caterpillar. <laughs> Damn, he's so faded. <laughs> when you're a bug, but you still blaze. <laughs> Oh my god, this poor little oh Weedle, what happened to you? <laughs> I think you're just drawing a um one of the Willy what are they called from Mario? They're not Wooly Willies. They're like uh, Oh the, you know what I'm the talking. guys that get pissed off. Yeah. I want <clears throat> I'm just gonna call them Willy Muses. That's what they yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a college good. humor writer, Willy Muse. You jump on his head. Yeah, not not Wigglers, but uh college humor writer Will, Willy Muse. That's what the villains from Mario are called. You know, I, I could actually look this up on my computer, but Skype is being like super difficult right now, and I'm kind of afraid it'll just shut down. I'm not gonna risk it. They're trying to follow Pokemon Go's lead. 
They're, yeah. they're like, Pokemon Go is so successful and it barely works. <laughs> we should stop trying to make our things work. Yeah, it's like Pokemon Go is just like that episode of South Park where Cartman doesn't let anyone into his amusement park. It's like that model exactly. It's like that YouTube gambling controversy. Like you can't sell gambling to kids, but like catching a Pokemon is basically like a lottery. Like the chances are really low that it'll actually go through but that thrill that maybe next time the app will work <laughs> right. just keeps you coming back. Right, the thrill and also the fact that they're straight up lying about whether or not there are Pokemon in your vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget the deceit element. That, that's oh, actually yeah. my favorite game mechanic is just uh, pure deceit. Mm. Hey, Nathan, real quick. Yeah. Can you just give him a real shiny nose? Yes. <laughs> you could even say it glows. <laughs> yeah, not only is this Yay. Weedle high AF, he's also an alcoholic AF. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good Weedle. Thank you. We got to start it off with one where it actually kind of resembles the Pokemon. Yes. And you did a pretty good job. Thank you. Uh, but it does seem like a waste that he doesn't have like a secondary joint, you know, like up in those little butt pinchers there. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, or, or like maybe he's holding a little bag or something. Uh, oh, ooh, or maybe extra papers. Well, he only, because well, Weedles are, are pretty small. So he's actually just holding one leaf. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's like how Farfetch'd is always holding a leak or something, uh, mm -hmm. which I guess is why maybe he's planning on making stew later or yeah. uh, making a tasty curry. I'm not that's sure. How, that's how you hold a leaf. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah he's got to keep it up there so it doesn't get damaged. I feel like in the interests of, like, honesty, if we actually drew high Pokemon, it would, judging from our personal experiences, it would just be a lot of, like, Pikachus be feeling really anxious on a stranger's couch. <laughs> Just be like, fuck, should I, am I, am I staying too long? <laughs> like, I know he smoked me up, so I gotta stay, I can't just, like, leave. I can't just be like, I smoked your weed and now I'm leaving. <laughs> and he said it was good shit, but I, I don't know if it's good shit. I've only done this, like, four times. Maybe that's why I can't move my legs. Just a squirtle that, like, all of a sudden has a lot of opinions about space. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, someone else needs to draw. Uh, that's a brilliant Weedle, though. This is Weed, yeah. Weed, Lord, Weed Lord 420. Weed Lord 420. You know what, Nathan? You're not actually allowed to stop drawing. You have to draw all 149 other Weed Pokemon so that we can be on the front page of Imgur for the next year. <laughs> actually, Jay, can I draw Pokemon? Oh, actually, this is kind of interesting. I haven't seen this happen before. I think it's Nathan's weird, gross phone that's making this work. It's a Psyduck and a Doduo, but they're literally occupying the same space in time <laughs> at the same place. Okay, so so my challenge is a Psyduck and... Wait, what was the second one? Doduo. Okay, okay, great. So my first thought is maybe they're getting married? I mean, I'm thinking teleporter accident. Okay, well, they're definitely on a team. I can tell you that much. Oh man, my guy's just, he's just like walking inside them also. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Jake, I'm very excited about this challenge you presented me with. I'm going to get right to work. Okay, so Psyduck, uh, let's see, I'll start there. That that will be my base. Um, that's how I'll ground myself to this strange reality in which we find ourselves. Yeah, well, Psyduck is, he's the bulkier of the two. Mm -hmm. And I know he's got those just like real sad eyes. Every, they're whatever emotion, yeah, I guess you, <laughs> you've drawn them pretty sad. They're just yeah, vacant. Well, mm -hmm. they've, they've definitely seen some stuff. That that much is certain. Uh, oh, yeah, they're vacant, but I think the true emotion will become apparent as I finish my drawing. Man, guys, I got to be honest. I do not know how to draw duck bills other than a Disney duck bill. It's, it's a very simplified duck bill. It, it like, it, yeah. it's, a, it's a real droopy <laughs> bill. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's the Miami Ducks logo. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, I think the expression I'm going for here is either has seen a harsh, unknowable truth or just ate some bad spaghetti. <laughs> I mean, what is a harsher truth than the spaghetti is bad? Because you, you expect spaghetti to be good. Ay, 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 the rigatoni was undercooked. <laughs> Oh, we all have that dente. <laughs> the Psyduck, the Yelp Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here is a strong base, I would say. Yeah, you've got the a strong base, a strong face. Strong base, strong base, can't lose. <laughs> oh, so easily can lose. <laughs> strong base, strong face, will lose. Uh, and uh, uh oh, uh oh, what's this? Oh look, look, he's got some friends. <laughs> oh, here they no. come. <laughs> no. Carl, it's. I really want to like rip Nathan's computer out of the wall to stop this from happening. Oh, they're coming out of 
out of his hand. <laughs> no, Jake, this is what you wanted. No. Hold on, let me look around for time travelers trying to stop this moment from existing. <laughs> this is like you went to Bill's PC and then you just oh, locked him in a closet and were like, oh, I've got some work to do. <laughs> oh, I gotta try something. Some things mankind was not meant to interfere with. <laughs> I think I think this one's kind of into oh. it. Oh. Yeah, he's just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know about you. I like being a freak. <laughs> yeah, what do you worry about? This is good. This is great. <laughs> I love it. This is, in my mind, how the Jonas Brothers feel when they're together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's a real shame that they don't perform on stage anymore wearing that one big shirt. <laughs> As the Omni Jonas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of a hack move. I know that the monkeys did it before them, and they just stole it from the Beatles. But it's my favorite routine. You know, you just get, like, a bunch of boys and one big shirt, just singing some music. <laughs> singing, singing some music. <laughs> and for some weird reason, uh, I was noticing this. It seems like there's a lot of Pokemon in Generation 1 with, like, cute faces and then, like, an oddly pudgy body. I was looking at uh, a Pikachu's original design, and he's just like this weird pudgy hamster ball. And I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> he was, he was originally. Uh, oh, it's time for another Jake weird theory that <laughs> might disturb people psychologically. Great. Awesome. Uh, I love that you have your own theme song. For that. <laughs> Think about pop culture, then feel bad. Um, <laughs> so. If you look in the original sprites, like the Pikachu sprite is just this pudgy little hamster thing. Right. right. And if you look in like the original artwork, like the original design, he was like a pudgy little hamster thing. But then in the anime, he became the mascot. He yeah. became like the face of the company. And they gave him like a, a more like proportioned face and like a rounder head and like an, a more elongated body. Right. He's literally just a yellow baby. <laughs> yeah. They transformed what should be an animal into just this perpetually happy baby that you just have to carry with you and care for. And that's what got, that's why Pikachu was so popular. It's because of our own natural desires to just make sure that the cute baby is safe. So I, I guess what you're saying, what you're saying is that we wouldn't feel that same impulse if he was we slightly- We would let Pikachu, the actual hamster, die a million deaths and feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should bring back fat Pikachu. I miss the fat mouse. What's, what's going on with its hands? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Welcome, friends. Oh, I, oh, oh Welcome no. I like it. to the no. island of Dr. Doduo. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching this right now, I want you to go into the comments and yell, stop, call. Well, <laughs> if you, if, if you, we all believe, he'll spare us. <laughs> oh, no, nothing can stop me now. It's far too late. They just have real bird faces. Oh yeah, yeah. They're just normal birds. Hashtag too much bird. <laughs> no this such thing, like my man. Pokemon had a run in with Homestuck. Ha! Mm -mm. This is like a weird crossover. Yeah. Let's see. I think he's just got like one or two more up there. Oh, maybe oh. like yeah, some little ones coming in. You know, they're like those kelp monsters from Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that King Trident got turned into. Oh, you're saying that's like a, a forming cyst? <laughs> yeah, I think that you, you take this thing to a daycare center and you come back with like 12 to 300 doduos. Oh, well, we're friends. We've been friends for a while now. I, sure. I appreciate your, your humor and your artistic skill. Please stop drawing bird polyps. <laughs> <laughs> Never. If you value anything we've shared together, I beg of you, stop. Stop, please. No, honestly, I've got you all right where I want you. This is like a straight-up hostage situation. You're going to have to call in the <laughs> National Guard. <laughs> I want three pizzas, a helicopter, and a million dollars, or I'm going to draw as many bird polyps as I can. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that uh, I think that's a side duo. Yes, I do don't. <laughs> do do won't do drugs, kids. <laughs> that's what Weedle sees yeah, we, all the time. Weed Lord just looks at that. He's like, oh fuck, man. <laughs> too fucked up. <laughs> okay, uh, do we want to figure out what Julia should be drawing? Do we want to figure out what the uh, the poke de resistance um, yeah, is? Okay, uh, throw something at me, Jake. I will know none of them. <laughs> hey, Nathan, is it cheating if I just, like, go over to some of the nearby gyms? No, I think that's fine. Mm. All right. So this is a Team Instinct Pokemon over at the uh, Metal Sculpture Gym over on the High oh. Line. And okay. uh, I, I feel like this name will give Julia the most to work with. Oh, okay. for sure. Mm. So, uh, Thank you. I know nothing. <laughs> you have to draw Wigglytuff. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> 
Wigglypuff. Yes. Cup. It's the evolution of Jigglypuff. Oh, man. Christmas comes early. Oh, that's that pink circle thing that's like Kirby, but girly. This is great because... I imagine you have at least some familiarity with Jigglypuff, yeah. but uh, did you know that it grew bigger and got worse? <laughs> did you did it you know that wigglier it, yeah. and tougher? And t- <laughs> and tougher. <laughs> oh boy, here we wiggly, go. Wiggly, wiggly tough. Huh? It's powered by the moon and can see into your heart. Sure. What? <laughs> I don't know. In the in the original Pokemon trading card game, the wiggly tough card was right. one that you could build an entire deck around. Holy shit. Oh, speaking of the Pokemon mm-hmm. card game, we should do a version of Pokemon for memory where we like just get a pack of cards and then we have to Oh my gosh. And then Jake pulls one out at random and yeah, yeah, we, we so like, like uh, we could be getting like an energy card or a trainer yeah. card. <laughs> <laughs> we get one of those weird trainer cards. Your next suggestion is water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think we'd obviously have to pre-screen to take out the energy cards, but it'd be fun if you got like a Max Revive and then you'd have to draw like a cool dude whose name is Maximilian Revive. (laughs) What's up, Russ? It's me. Or or no, you'd have to draw Maximilian Goof from Goof Troof getting revived by the, you know, Jesus Christ. Lord and Savior. We already got some some quality Julia hands over on her screen. Yeah, oh, goddamn! I mean, it's she's going with the name, which is it involves tough. I'm not seeing a lot of wiggling <laughs> yet. <laughs> well, I mean, Julia is going to go full out gif for it. So it's going to be <laughs> fully animated. You know, I could see potential for wiggling. <laughs> I would say my one note would be to make the top of the head longer so it could wiggle independently. I mean, guys. <laughs> if, we're a positive YouTube channel. We're, we don't want to spread negativity. I just want all of you listening at home to know that anybody can wiggle if you believe in yourself. <laughs> don't let the government or your parents tell you to stop wiggling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, stop wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> I beg of you, please stop wiggling. We have a party over here. I wait Wait no. Yeah, you got some. I, I want to get my wiggle. Stop. Wheel it's me. Thanks to augmented reality, I'm here in front of you. <laughs> I can touch your skin. <laughs> I'm inside your phone and reading your emails. I have a question whether I should quit art until I come on to this goddamn show. No, please continue. Oh, Julia, it's always, no matter what, I think I've seen everything that you can do. And then... I just love that he worked out his arms super hard, but he left the rest of his body super <laughs> soft so that he could wiggle. What is this? Mm. It's a it's a rattle. Ah. A, a mar- it's a maraca. Because <laughs> yeah, he's wiggling. Buenos dias, it's me, you wiggly tough. Wiggly tough, the backup vocal Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god! I thought like I was gonna draw an animal today. No. Nope. I taste like caramel and chorizo. <laughs> I'm one of the members of Arcade Fire. <laughs> you can't prove I'm not. <laughs> oh, the Pokemon company is sending helicopters to stop this. Jesus Christ, I'm crying again. <laughs> me. This happens every time I'm on this. Julia, I love his Seuss face. I love that he's just got Seuss's face from Gravity Falls. <laughs> he's like, oh, check it out, dudes. I'm a Pokemon. <laughs> but he's also a tough man. Yeah. So. Oh. Ooh, does he have a belt? Oh, oh no, he's got Mickey Mouse pants. <laughs> Wait. Let, it, let, let her create. All right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> let them fight. What are those? What are those? <gasps> Does he have cargo shorts? <laughs> I don't know until I'm done. Oh, so please give me it questions. some John Cena jorts. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, Julia's like, do you know about the Victorian practice of automatic writing? <laughs> it was like where people would essentially, it kind of predated Ouija boards. It's where people would just like sit down and write whatever came to them and be like, ah, I've been moved by the spirit and now I have an idea for a short story or novella. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> and that's, yeah, Julia's just like tapping into some kind of Pokemon Ghost <laughs> yeah, Force. Yeah, Julia doesn't need to play Pokemon Go because the Pokemon energy lives inside her. Mm. She is made right. of stardust right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said something You try else. and transfer this to Professor Willow and he just sends it back. <laughs> it's just like, uh-uh, <laughs> nope. 
Listen, I'm the sexiest dilf in all of mobile gaming history, <laughs> and I cannot abide this. Hey, hey, daddy, where's my candy? Hey, daddy, give me my candy, walk daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, walk daddy. That's. <laughs> I mean, technically walk man, but walk daddy's funnier. Uh, and then, yeah, I feel like you just show up at his house and he's just like, Jesus Christ, what is that? Get it away. I love that it's, uh, it's toned on the front, but there's no, but like the body shape yes. is still perfectly smooth. Like, I just. Like, yeah. If I, can, if I can give you one note, it would um, be. Give me all of just, them. Just to make the neck and head just way longer and more curved. Okay. Like it's just it's just flopping around and can't support its own weight. Okay, I can do that. Just make I would say 30% more flaccid. Uh and I think that's just going to make yeah, it's just going to make everyone's day a whole lot worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I like my neck. <laughs> oh <Thank> boy. You. <laughs> oh goodness. Thank you for this. <laughs> Oh, it's too yep. wiggly. It's too wiggly. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. This is his. This is his mega evolution. I can't see in front of me. <laughs> Could you just picture like you're in the tall grass and you don't see anything? Then all of a sudden, this thing just whips its head up for a second, <laughs> and then it's gone. You just hear the sound of the rattle shaking. <laughs> if I drop this maraca, I die. <laughs> Yeah, most like it's it's just like a a snake without a rattle that found one and like is pretending to be a rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Julia's doing an audible. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was a false face. A false face. <laughs> oh my god, he's so balanced oh, no. now. Oh god. <laughs> Hello there, chaps. This is Wiggly, and I am tough. <laughs> I hate Pokemon now. Uh, I mean, I hate Pokemon now, too. Uh, this this abomination could drop down on all fours at any moment and just charge right towards us. <laughs> yeah, no, somehow this this Pokemon episode became Design Your Own Dark Souls. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm running real quick. Thank you. Jake, what, if this was a Dark Souls boss, what would its name be? Uh... Fuck Lord of the Boreal Valley. I don't know. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than mine. I was just going to say Wiggly, the toughest. Oh, much better. This is, this is how uh, it runs. Okay, all right. So this is just a little example of how he moves, just to show us how he ambulates. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. How many times have we done this and it's still magical? <laughs> Never enough. Wait. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Does a little tail. <laughs> Jigglypuff is evolving. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Stop. It's the actual game is like you have to press B. This was not supposed to happen. Please. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Team Instinct put this in their gym, no one's taking that gym from them. <laughs> That's an interesting it strategy. Has all the prestige. <laughs> yeah, this is um this is actually the mascot for the new team that's coming to Pokemon Go. It's just called uh it's called Team Regret. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's mauve colored. Oh gosh! If we're going by like weird Pokedex rules, you have to throw in just some weird impossible detail, like the bow on top of Wigglytuff weighs four hundred kilograms. <laughs> so when when he's when he's standing upright, he's he's real goofy, but when he runs, his face just like oh. Yeah, I love that Julia is the only person that does full three D turnarounds for yeah. her characters because we need to know how they function in real space. It's. For the animation that we're making. Precisely. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. If, uh, if anyone's curious <laughs> for visuals, away. I'm just staring at a bottle of liquor and like shaking my head going, never again, and throwing <laughs> it behind me. <laughs> Often what I say about these Pokemon episodes, <laughs> never again. <laughs> this is making Jake physically ill. Yeah, Jake, I, it's you, well, you, what you've done is I, you've made me remember a nightmare that I had long since repressed. <laughs> You know what? For the record, we need to show Julia what the hell Wigglytuff actually looks like. <laughs> right, Maybe. Yeah, I think the, yeah, well, the, okay, hold on. Jigglypuff, from what I remember, vaguely looks oh, oh, like oh. a female Kirby, right? Eh. If I remember correctly, Jigglypuff does have that bow on her head, right? Uh, you're thinking of uh, in Smash Brothers when you need uh, when you have two <laughs> oh, Jigglypuffs it's an and one of them gets costume. a bow. That's a, that's, yeah, that's the only reason you, I know what but Jigglypuff you can, looks like. You know, in, in the later Pokemon games, you have pageants you can put. You're just drawing Kirby. Well... <laughs> That's Kirby. <laughs> That's Kirby. 
It uh, sings, right? Yeah. No, it's if you ever want to hear <laughs> your best friend or like anybody you know be like super creepy, ask them to do their their best version of the Jigglypuff voice. Yep. And no matter how much they try, it's gonna be the stuff. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Coming out of your adult <laughs> ass face is the worst. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I wish we were recording my face so I could show people the discrepancy there. <laughs> um, well, do we want to pull up a picture? Look at the adorable thing oh, you've ruined. <laughs> Look at that I cute started bunny basically, pup. Basically one-to-one. -one. I started kind of close with the, the basic shape, Click right? on that crying one. That's, that's how <laughs> I feel. That's, how, that's what you did. You did that. Guys, I also uh, just oh love that between the big bow and the rattle, this just looks like someone's weird sausage baby. It's like, here he is, here's my boy. Nothing wrong with my little boy, with my little baby. Mommy's perfect hot dog. Oh, I love you so. Oh, it's like, it's like when people put their chihuahuas in, it's like when people put their chihuahuas in strollers and, and you can't tell until you get close and you're like, oh, that's not a baby, that's a doggo. Oh geez, it's like, it's like that, but then you see this terrifying cargo shorted sausage tot up in there and you just don't know what to do with your life anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, I feel like Wigglytuff's got the right idea. Let's let's all just scream. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I think we're all Wigglytuffs now. I try, I really and, did try this time. <laughs> Julia, thank you, Yeah, as always. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> we're sorry. We're, we are. Sorry. Sorry. Wiggle!